Hi, I'm Vicki Vaughn, and today we'll learn how to download digital books from the Bard Collection. This workshop is intended for users with low vision. If you use a screen reading program, be sure to check out our screen reading version of this workshop. In this series, we learned how to use the Bard website to locate desired books and magazines. Today, we'll take the next step and download our favorite content to our PC computer. Let's say we've logged into the Bard website and we've located our desired book. The book we plan to download today is Moby Dick or The Whale. Below the title, we find the author's name, Herman Melville. Next, we have the reading time, followed by the name of the reader. Next, we see the category or subject of the book. I bet it's no surprise that this book is in the classics category. After the subject, we find a paragraph in which Bard provides us with a short description of the book. We also learn that this book contains descriptions of violence. Some books in the Bard collection might contain language or descriptions of sex or violence. When that is the case, Bard informs us in the description. At the end of the entry, we find a link to download Moby Dick or the Whale. Let's select this link to begin our download. At the bottom of our window, we see a download box. Depending on the book, it can take a few seconds to several minutes to finish downloading. Once it's complete, we see the letters DB for digital books, then the name of the author and the extension ZIP. If the file was a Braille file, we would see the letters BR instead of DB. If zipped files are new to you, think of them as compressed files. These compressed or zipped files save us time when downloading. Once our book is finished downloading, we right-click on it with our mouse. Then select Show in Folder from our menu, and then left-click this option. This opens our Downloads folder, the default destination folder for our downloaded books. Now that we're in our Downloads folder, let's right-click the book with our mouse pointer to open our menu. Here, we'll down arrow to Extract All. Once we land on this option, we press the Enter key to select it. This action brings up a new window. This is where we select a destination for our digital files. For our purposes today, we'll extract our files directly into the Downloads folder. Windows created a destination folder with the title of the book. That works for me. If we wish to be a bit more organized, we can copy the files to a folder we create on our desktop instead. If you'd like to do that, check out the Resources section to learn how. At the bottom of our window, we find our Extract button. Let's select it with our mouse pointer. We see a progress bar as our files are extracted. And now we see two folders. The first holds our zipped files, while the one below it contains our unzipped files. This is the folder we will transfer to our portable storage devices to listen to our book. Make sure you check out the workshop in this series where we learn step-by-step -step how to transfer our files. If you're interested in Bard's digital magazines, you'll be happy to hear that we follow the exact same procedure for both books and magazines. Today, we learned how to download digital books from the Bard collection. I'm Vicki Vaughn, and I thank you for joining me.